My name is Alicia Brooks, and I'm a writing coach, and I'm a writer of several novels and screenplays, and a writer's book just for you. And I want to help you overcome writer's block for good. So I want to talk to you a little bit about um, how you finish your um, art piece. So this can, of course, apply to uh, many different forms of art. Um, but right now we're talking about writing. So what I want you to think about is looking at your piece from the eyes of the viewer. Meaning, um, so, so how do you do that? You know, at, at some point you look at it and you're like, well, Jesus, I've read this thing a thousand times. There's no way I can look at it and it's going to be new to me. But it is vital that you look at it and make it new to yourself. So how do you do that? Um, there are some ways you can do it. Obviously, you know, uh, in painting, it's a lot easier to look at something like it's uh, brand new because you could, I don't know, look at it in a mirror or look at a miniature or look at a something that's um, enlarged. But okay, so how do you do it as a writer? Well, here is a suggestion. And I do understand this takes time, but, you know, we are looking for um, a wonderful novel, a wonderful screenplay. We're not looking to, like, you know, this is not processed meat. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's art. So you're going to take the time and you're going to put in the time. Uh, so here's my suggestion that you read it into a recorder. Um, you can read it by chapter. So read chapter one into a recorder. Read chapter two into a recorder. Read chapter three into a recorder. And then once you get to the finish line, you're going to start listening to the book. Because if you're having a hard time reading it, as if you are uh, brand new to it, then you're going to have to figure out how to read it like you're brand new to it. <laughs> so uh, recording it or even just speaking it out loud. We screenwriters also do that because speaking it out loud makes it very real and it, it gives us the opportunity to discover if the the words are proper that's the thing is like if you don't actually read it out loud hear your own words you might not uh, catch things that your readers will and if they catch things that you haven't caught then they're going to be very disappointed and they may not come back to read something else i mean your book has to be damn good for them to come back and read something else after they have caught mistakes that you've made. So just be very careful. Read it to yourself out loud or record it and then listen to it. You know, these, these are potential ways for you to examine your work or listen to it as a reader rather than listening or, or rather than reading it over and over and over again and you're having the same reaction you don't see anything new so you really need to look for the nuances you need to look for things that for you make you excited you know um, the point is that you need to look at it like a reader looks at it okay you're going to change your hat Okay, you're going to go from the writer's hat to the reader's hat and look at it from a fresh set of eyes. Okay, if you think of other ways to do this technique, please let me know. I'm sure our other writers would like to know your techniques as well. So uh, please contribute to this, um, this module by, you know, letting your fellow writers in on whatever technique works for you to become the reader, okay?
Thanks. Bye. If this video has inspired you and you'd like to know more, send me a message below.